This tutorial is to discuss the teacher sign-in process for Rosetta Stone Learning Suite. You will have received an email uh, from myself to explain uh, your sign-in information and it will give you a link to get on to Rosetta Stone. So you'll want to click on that link and then go to the link that says um, Powder River SD. And then once you're on that link, then what you can do is you could bookmark it. And bookmarking is just as simple as clicking a little star and then clicking done. What it's going to do is typically it'll put you put on your bookmarks bar. And if you want to turn on your bookmarks bar, you can just click on the uh, three dashes on the top right corner over here, down to bookmarks, and then you can go to show bookmarks bar. Now I have that link right in my menu. Uh, as soon as I sign into Chrome, that shortcut will be there. Uh, if you want more information, you can click on the How to Create Bookmarks link at the end of the initial email that you received. So to get signed on, you're just going to put in your username. It's typically your first initial, last name, and then the password will be the password that was sent to you uh, by default. Once you've signed in, it will take you to another screen where you, if you're a first time user, you can go through and it can explain a lot of the things that Rosetta Stone does, or you can launch the administrator tools. When you had launched the administrator tools, it's going to check your system to make sure that you can run Rosetta Stone. I'm going to maximize that screen so we can see it. And then from here, we can get some basic information about our students. Typically what we would do is the only time that we'd use the administrator tools is if we were going to change our password. So to change our password, we would just go up to administrators, go to manage. You would want to find your username. You would want to click on the little lock icon. Then you would want to put in the password that you want to use. If you want to change it, you'll have to put it in twice and then you can click on save changes. Once you've done that, that will change your password so that now um, you won't have to use the default one uh, that was sent to you in an email. I'm going to close out of this administrator tool screen. That's going to take me back to this screen here. And from this screen, the, the time that we use this screen would be if we want to get updates or reports on how our students are doing. So any students that are registered underneath you, you will be able to see um, how they're they're doing. So for example, if I go to this student here at a test school, um, I can download the PDF a PDF copy of this this user's progress. Uh, the XLS file, the first one here, that is an Excel spreadsheet. CSV is if you're importing into something else. Typically people and parents and teachers all seem to like the PDF version the best. So by clicking on that, that's going to open it up in and save it as a PDF file. So then I can track how much time they've spent, what they've accomplished. So I will bring this up. So it has each of the individual levels that the student has is assigned to. So for example, level one, if I zoom in on this, I can see that this student has not yet started the core lessons. It talks about how much time is spent when they've last attempted it, and the number of attempts. So this could be really valuable when talking to parents about uh, how their, their child has performed utilizing Rosetta Stone. I'll close out of that. And really that's pretty much all as an instructor that you would need to be able to access um, at this time. When you're finished with it, good idea to sign out, and now you've signed out of Rosetta Stone.